Incredible news coming out of Indonesia that you might have missed. Archaeologists have now discovered stone tools on an Indonesian island dating back over 1.4 million years ago, meaning our ancestors were making deep sea voyages a lot longer than the flint devils of the world would have you believe. So what does this mean for our understanding of ancient seafaring capabilities? Well, let's dive in and check it out. Published in the Journal of Nature, the Griffith-led team used paleomagnetic dating of the sandstone itself and direct dating of an excavated pig fossil to confirm an age of at least 1.4 million years ago for the artifacts. Quote, it's a significant piece of the puzzle, but the Kaleo site has yet to yield any hominin fossils. So, while we now know there were toolmakers on Sulawesi a million years ago, their identity remains a mystery. End quote. Professor Brum said in a statement, he also said his team's recent find on Sawasi led him to wonder what might have happened to Homo erectus on an island more than 12 times the size of Flores, saying, quote, Sawasi is a wild card. It's like a mini continent in itself. If hominins were cut off on this huge and ecologically rich island for a million years, would they have undergone the same evolutionary changes as Flores hobbits? Or would something totally different have happened? End quote. What's truly incredible about this find to me is we know exactly what happens when you leave humans alone long enough and they've got ideal conditions. With good weather, plenty of resources, and lots of food, well, innovation moves very quickly. So what might have happened on an island with one million years of time to evolve and progress? It's a curious possibility. I'd also like to point out that this discovery was made without the recovery of a million-year-old boat. So the next time you hear Flint Dibble or any of his ilk suggest that there's no evidence of seafaring dating back into the last ice age, well, his colleagues disagree, and so should you. So I would love to know what you think down in the comments below. While you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff so you don't miss any adventures to come. But in the meantime, be indomitable in your quest for knowledge. But above all, my friends, stay curious.